Jared Poland from Photo.com and welcome back to another Rapid Fire Critiquing the Critiquerson, where this time I'm critiquing someone who purchased a 15 minute Rapid Fire Critique and gave me permission to share it with you guys. Now, before I show it to you, I am running a little sale right now where we're taking 10 bucks off a 15 minute Rapid Fire Critique. So instead of $99, they're gonna be $89 at checkout. You'll see that discount already applied until December 4th. And one person who signs up from now until December 4th will be upgraded for free to a one-on-one -on -one 45 minute rapid fire critique McCritiquerson with me. So if you've been waiting to get a rapid fire critique, this is your time to do it to save 10 bucks and to get a chance to get it upgraded to one of those one-on-one -on -one mentorships with me. Now let's get to the critique. All right, let's jump in to your critique McCritiquerson here, your second one. I am just gonna get my screen situated and see what we've got. EOS R with the 35, okay, 16 to 35 to eight. Good lens, one 200th at three five. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan of bedroomy uh, boudoir. I, that's just me personally. That doesn't mean it's not a good thing. It just doesn't, I just, the lighting, right? We need some light. I know it has that moody look. Um, the pose is fine. I think you did a good job. I think this light is a little distracting in the background because my eye goes to that because it's 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 a different shade of the background. No pun intended. Shade. It's a, literally a shade. Uh, you know, it, it it's brighter, so my eyes going to that versus going to her because of the background so maybe shift your angle a little bit so that you don't have that over there and you just focus in on on her um i'm not a boudoir -y type guy that's me personally is it fine sure it is i just don't have a lot of feedback for that type of photo compositionally good i would just make sure we don't have that in the background there i'm trying to see if it's a hotel it kind of has a hotel feel but i don't know if it's a hotel 140th at 35 400 iso 100 millimeter macro this is a good composition right i love that you got the lens sitting here you got your mouse you got your computer composition is good i like that we can see the godox box so really good with how you set up the scene so it tells a good story of your desk your desk setup that looks good what's down here i'm not sure what that is maybe that's a backpack or something um but i think that works out that that shows where you're at so i like that oh all right pepper spray why would anybody want to do that? And I'm curious why you're at 3.5 for everything. We're going to talk about this, but why are we at 3.5 for every photo? Hey, look, a 2.8 photo. Um, 3.5 is fine. It is. But there's, with your 720, you, it's not going to make much of a difference from 3.5 to 2.8. But when it when it's really needed to be 2.8, then you're going to see... Uh, you know why you want to be at 28 i mean you have the the ability to do it so you kind of want to be there most of the time this is really good great composition um it's spot on i love your focus nailed it i love that you can see the spray and it, it's got some movement to it and then the other particles in the air look good so really good composition this is spot on i think this looks fantastic very nice job because you have you have part of the scene you got the barbed wire fence so it all comes together so that's good. Pugilists. Hmm. I mean, it's good. Your color looks good. Your composition, your lines are perfect. Really good job getting these lines straight. Um, the three, five thing is still throwing me off. The 70s fine. I mean, this is fine. You could also try it from a distance. You could try some lower angles. You could try getting a little wider, but I think you did a really good job with it, so I think it sells on its own, so good job. Is this another one of those macros? This looks really good. So you got the 16 and 35, 2, 8. We're focused there. I like the reflections in the lights. I like your colors, and I like your processing, so I, I really like the feel of that. So now we got the jet. They're so damn big. Look at those engines. Look at the wing flaps, too. It's got these wing lits. Uh, one two hundredth, two eight, sixteen hundred ISO, seventy four. I mean, it's fine. It's a plane sitting on the, sitting on the thing, right? So we're at seventy four millimeters. Now this is one where if you have a thirty five, you have a fifty, you have an eighty five. 
it may start to work a little better. But here, here's what we could do. You got this angle, then let's walk to the front and get the perfectly symmetrical front angle. Let's get out the 70 to 200, 28, and let's focus in on the tails. Let's focus in on the engines. Let's tell the entire story, the wheels, the, the door, the bay doors, so everything. Let's try to tell the story of the entire airplane if that's what we're going to do. It's one thing to get this wide. That's good, but then let's get that perfectly centered one. Let's get those. Give me, give me four tight shots, four different engines, four different shots. Kind of could look cool if, you, if it was like a, a, a quadric, not a triplic or whatever, the triptych, where you have just a picture of one engine, two engine, another engine, and another engine, and it's just those things so keep those in mind other stories that can be told so this is 16 you're at f5 no i'm not sure where it's actually focused 3200 iso yeah i mean oh, maybe you're focused all the way over here it's a little hot right i think it's over processed in terms of it's just too bright in these areas so we can bring it we can bring it down it's not super bright in here it's something along those lines but it depends where we're i think that's about right just weird that it's all the way out of focus over here but i think you might just be focused all the way over here interesting up there i like the frame what i like about it is this time it's a 2.8 and the background starts to dissipate i like that the buildings are dissipating into into the background one of the things you can try here are those slow shutter speeds because while well, you're at one eight thousandth of a second the reason you would want to do it is because is this car just parked right here or is it moving right we know it's moving because it's part of traffic but unless you get it to actually move you know to show some of that to show some of that action then you it just looks like a parked car so that's the thing this is where you can convey movement. So one of the things you could do is you can get an ND filter or you could go to F22, but an ND filter is going to allow you to cut down on the motion, sorry, cut down the shutter speed, which then allows you to drop your, well, you're at 2.8, but you could slow the shutter speed way down with the ND filters to allow you to get some motion blur, but also isolate the subject like you did here. So I like this. I like the tones and the, and the colors. I just want to see some movement. Great angle, great composition. Let's hit it with Skittles and see what happens. I know I'll need to tweak it a little bit. Nope, too much. Uh, this could be black and white. Ooh, these actually were all, oh, a lot of these work. But here's how I would just personally edit it. I'm gonna bring down these highlights. And by personally, I mean without using a preset. Yeah, something along those lines. I just brought it back a little bit. But then you could just run it through all these different options, and there's a lot of really good options to go with. But that's good. I like the composition. One thing to be careful of is whatever this is sticking out from the other edge. I just saw that. Just, just watch that little thing. I mean, we could get rid of it, but just watch it. Okay, tires turn the right way. That's all good. I would probably back up a lot, back the truck up. And by back the truck up, I mean back yourself up, zoom into 200 at 28, and it's going to compress the background even more. It's going to isolate that subject, make it less look like a snapshot. So 5.6, you're trying to show part of the scene. Same thing here. Instead of being at 70, if we go to 200, like this is fine. I don't mind it at all. I actually like the, the trucks in the shadow. You got the, the tire tracks here and the sun here. I think it's really good. Just another option to try is zooming out to 200 millimeters. So when you zoom out to 200 millimeters, it's going to give you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help isolate this truck from the background and make it stand out more that's what we're looking for we're looking to make it stand out more if it stands out more then it's then it's going to draw your eye to it and it's going to be like hmm look at that it's in sharp focus and the background's out a little but it makes it pop it looks three-dimensional that's the word i'm looking for holly weird do 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 holly weird it's fine it's the hollywood sign i really don't know what else to say about the hollywood sign I mean, you're up there, you're up in the hills, so that looks good. Santa Monica Pier. 
No, I don't want to do that. That that when you bring out highlights, bring back highlights too much, that's what it ends up looking like. This is fine. I'm just there's something about it. I I, I think the something about it is this is where long exposures come into play because the people become more of a distraction and this is where we could make an nd filter cutting back on the light so that you can drop your iso down not your iso you can drop your aperture down but go with a much longer shutter speed and that way these people are either going to blur or the riders are going to blur and it's not just going to be frozen there and we're going to get some interesting movement in the shot that's something that i would personally try or also wait till the lights come on at the park so as the sun's going down a little bit more, wait till the lights go on, and then with a slower shutter speed, that's going to pop even more. So it's good. I just want to. I think that would be make it even better. Well, here is it at night, Pacific Park. What are we at? One eightieth of a second at two eight at a thousand. That's fine. Another recommendation, though, is well, I'm going to hit it with some Skittles just for fun. Skittles takes too much out of it. So. And by too much, it brings the highlights back a ton and pumps those shadows. So a lot of times when I'm tweaking my Skittles, I make sure not to leave it fully highlights down and shadows up. It all cha you, you can change it, obviously. But I think this looks much better than where it started. That's where it started. This is where it's edited. So that's using a preset, but then going ahead and tweaking it to make it even better. Another thing you can do here, set up the tripod, go slow shutter speed. Really, this is one where you get slow shutter speed because these neon lights are going to look awesome. And then all these people are going to blur and it's going to look less like a snapshot. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so this is a product product shot. I think the product shot looks good. I like your processing. I like the way that you have your lighting. So that looks good. I really like the isolation of the light right in the middle. So that looks nice. I'm happy with that shot. Let me jump in here real quick to remind you that if you'd like to sign up for a 15-minute rapid-fire critique or critiquerson, you can do so right now at fronosphoto.com slash mentorship. From now until December 4th, you can save 10 bucks. So instead of $99, it's going to be $89. And one person will be upgraded to getting a one-on-one 45-minute -on -one live mentorship call with me. So one person will be upgraded for free who purchases between now and and December 4th. So now let's get back in to the critique. Okay. I don't mind this background setup. I like the isolation on, on the bag. Um, I'm not this muted type of person that likes the muted stuff. So this is me. This is personal preference. You can, of course, agree or disagree. That That's perfectly fine. But I, I just want to show you how I would tweak it. A little so so I put in a little warmth here you know if it's too cold doesn't make sense unless you're like cold uh coffee on a warm day on a cold day but the point is you want them to think that the coffee is going to warm them up that's how I would edit it that's how you had it it's the flat I, I it doesn't pop to me I mean per, again personal preference popping contrast is what I like to do you don't have to but if I'm giving my opinion which this is what it is it's a critique I, I just think that pops. Look at the colors. Look at how much more it pops. Look at how the beans look much better. And just look how the bag looks much better. For an advertisement, you don't want it to be flat and boring. You want it to be poppy and just punch people in the face. And this doesn't even punch them in the face that hard. We got Kitty Cat. We're at F28 again. So the R is good. Put good glass on it, and you're doing well. So this is good. EF Macro 100 works fine. Uh... Are we cropped here? No, that's original. Come original, come original. Oh, look at that cat. Uh, da -da, 160th at 2.8. That's fine. You know, I, I, I'm i not going to be a stickler for this. I mean, I am a stickler for the, the sharpness, but when I'm zooming in one-to-one, -one, that's where we're going to start to see it, uh, that the eye is a little slightly out. No, it's actually, it's. I think it's focused on the reflection, if I had to guess. It's not the nose. It's not this. It's not the. It's the reflection. Sometimes the focus is so on point that it focuses on the reflection, and then it ends up the eyes out of focus. But from a distance, the world looks small and gray or blue. I don't know what the lyrics were. All right, we got the people over here going into the ocean. You got the pier. We got that major lens flare right there. 
I think we need to go with what time is this at? 8 13 p.m. and the sun is still there. Wow. So I think we need to go a little on the darker side. It wouldn't look like this if I had the raw file, but I think I would go more with the silhouette than anything just to make those subjects just silhouette. I think it would be better because the sun is absolutely going down. Uh, police lights. 160th at F. It says 22. Does that say 22 or 22? 22 uh 2.2 that's interesting i mean where the hell is this how's that what is is that a satellite dish if i had to guess i'd say satellite dish interesting but the processing is off like we, we need that contrast i'm gonna punch it we're punching it Oops, oops, we're going to overtime. I would just have to punch it a little bit like that, and I brightened it. Now look at how it, see how it's gray and flat, and you see how it pops here? Yeah, I'm introducing noise, I'm introducing some grain. Who cares? Who cares, right? We can, we can bring it back a little bit, but don't worry about noise and grain. Seriously, there is nothing wrong. I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages from people about noise and grain, and they're like, oh, I just, I will never go above 500, and I'm like, why? If you get the shot, you get the shot. Who cares? No one's going to see and be like, no, it looks so noisy. It looks so grainy. If we printed this out, it would be fine. Perfectly fine to have noise and grain. Don't be afraid of it. There's nothing to be afraid of. And stop denoising shit because it starts to look terrible. So oh, that's a that's with a with a drone. My whole thing with it with this is either the sun up higher or the sun basically going away and then we're using the night you know the blue hour i think this looks fine i like the way the sun is hitting the water the colors seem off to me because they don't seem natural that's just too warm so i'll get rid of that magenta and green that's where it's i think that's too warm i i don't know i think that's a little too warm but again the sun is going down so down yeah, 5.30 p.m. it's going down. So that's all right. I just, the drone shots, unless it's super duper unique, I don't think really sell very well in my mind. Because it's just in my head. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. In my head. Is it the Pacific Coast Highway? I think it is the Pacific Coast Highway. There we go. We're isolating the subject a little bit more here. 100 macro. I think that looks good with your truck. Where are we focused? We're focused on the tire. I think that's fine. Ooh, no. Oh, well, no wonder why I say, ooh, no, because it's done with the iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro. I don't I don't know why this is here, but it's fine. It's not fine. I mean, compositionally, it's fine. And I love the background. I wish you shot it with your real camera. Yes, real camera. But let's tighten it up and show you how we'll get rid of that grain, which we're not really going to have a good time getting rid of because it's an iPhone shot. We're skipping it. What are we at F634? Why are we at F63? You have that 2.8, use it. Unless you're going to sit here and tell me that, well, I wanted to get this guy in focus and this person in focus and this person in focus. I just think that the background becomes more of a distraction with that shitty chain link fence uh, and just some distractions in the background. It's not as bad as some other things like a porto potty in the background, but I think if our main focus is this person in the front, then let's focus on the person in the front and focus on them at 2.8. Yeah, I know I'm a stickler for that. I you you own the two eight, shoot it at two eight. Really great focus right here. Nice job with the macro. Three five, not a big deal. Like when I just said shoot it at two eight, that's fine. When you're doing these portraits, if you want a little bit more of the face and make sure you get both of those eyes in focus and more of the face in focus, three five four, it's fine. If that gives you the look that you want, and you're gonna get a ton of compression with the one hundred macro. So I like this. I like it. Really nice. Color's a little weird. I don't know what what preset was being Ooh, that looks good oh oh yeah black and white boomify looks good so i just think that the colors look weird here because it has that fall like orange you know what i think you used which one did we use here which one did we create steven steven's not here uh uh is it tahitian moon hold on hold on guys give me a second here no, because we have one that is. Is 
it's not tahitian moon i forget harvest moon no oh i forget it's it's a teal one oh i like that now f4 with with multiple people is fine right because if they're on different planes you're going to want them both in focus so this is nice look at that r 75 millimeters yeah i love with the awax or whatever the hell it is in the background that's cool great symmetry really nice shot shitty lighting bad bad time of day but it still works i they'll they'll love it and we need to get moving because we're in extra overtime uh i don't know i don't know it's I, I don't have much to add to to the bike shot like this i i just don't this isn't my jam i'm not really good at that one. Oh, oh good wood fired pizza i i don't i don't like this one i mean i just don't like maybe it's someone else's bike that you just walked up up to and it was there i don't know what to tell you to do to, to do with this bike especially in front of the pizza place it just doesn't have context or make sense great low angle now you're at 28 85 mil. i love it i really love the low angle that you did here i i just got to hit it with some contrast So, yeah, you see how flat it is? A lot of this comes down to, and I don't think I'm wrong about it. I think that that's just so flat. Of course, it's going to look flat when you see my edits, but I just think that looks so much better. It, it, look how this, the subject becomes multidimensional. It's no longer a 2D image. It becomes a 3D image. Uh, it's with the flash pop. That's just a basic flash pop. It's all right. But, I mean, all right in the sense of, it's just a basic flash pop. It's not It's not how I would personally shoot it. I think I would get them, I don't know, embracing at a distance and looking in, it less looking into the camera, unless this is an engagement picture or or not. I really can't tell, but it's okay. It's all right. I don't, I don't like the light so much. I, I don't like the flare. I keep saying that stuff. I don't like the flare. I mean, I don't get the car thing. You know, get your lines right. So this is where the lines aren't straight. So try to get your lines a little straighter here. I got to find something to line it up with, and I'm going to use the fence. Right? Try to keep those lines straight. I think that would that would be better. Oh, nice ring. Holy Jesus. This is the wrong lens choice. 24 to 70 is the wrong lens choice on this. If you want to do this, I would get out your 100 macro, and I would use your 100 macro, or at the very least, the 70 to 200 to 8 zoomed in. So that's just the wrong lens choice. Plus, it's not sharp or in fo it's not in focus. So this is where we got to break out that macro. You have that 100 macro. Oh, look at this. So it's an engagement picture. Um, so what's good, and I've screwed this up on, on, on occasions before when I've done a, an engagement picture, is I didn't get the box with the ring. I got the person on their, on their knees, and then I got around to the other side and, 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 and got the reaction of the woman because that's what I was going for. Um, the lighting is tough. It's at sundown, and I know you're probably hiding. So, I mean, I don't know where the hell you'd be hiding. You're not really hiding. You're there because you're with the 24 to 70. I, I would, well, I guess I would say I can't put the light at my back because you don't know what the background is. So let's see if we can tweak it. Regardless, this is a shot. They'll be like, this is amazing. We love it. This is awesome. Thank you for capturing it. I just tightened it up just a little bit. The colors are off here. There's just unnatural, unnatural colors. Uh, I also think a 24 to 70 is not the greatest portrait lens for a group. I think your 70 to 200 is still going to be a little better. It's going to make it look flatter. But this color is not good. This color isn't good. So I'm going to have to go to black and white to save it. Hmm. I don't even know that it saves. It's still a little harsh, too much contrast, but that's fine. I just think the color is not very good. And then finally, this, you actually went super harsh on this one, and, and it's at F10. I don't mind it. I like, I like that you have the RV here, and you can see that you're at the beach, and you're going uh, in the ocean is in the background. This one may be a little on the harsh side in terms of processing, so just be careful that you don't get those halos around the subject uh 24 to 70 art lens adapted okay so i think that there's some really nice shots in here i think processing becomes a thing like this one it was like gotta give it a little bit more oomph like we did right here 
uh, this this edit's better than where it started. So I think a lot of it comes down to the processing. Why are we at 3.5 all the time? I know I used to say that with DSLRs, but with the mirrorless, it's much better. Try to isolate those subjects, not every time. Try to tell photo stories with something like this shot. Um, there's some good ones. I mean, there are like, this is fantastic in terms of composition, and I love the way that you set it up. So there's some really good ones in here. Just keep it up, right? Keep working, keep shooting, and go from there. So very nice job. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that rapid fire critique. This is how they work. You submit your images, I tell you it like it is, and I hopefully give you some direction. That's the whole point of critiques, is if you can take one good nugget of information from a critique and that changes your thinking and changes your photography, then that's a really good thing. And many times I think people are gonna take much more out of it. So if you'd like to pick up a 15 minute rapid fire critique, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship because from now until December 4th, you can save 10 bucks and also get your chance to win a one-on-one -on -one mentorship, which will be upgraded for someone who makes a purchase up until December 4th. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared, PolandFronosPhoto.com. See ya.